This is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023 175BHLE Della Terra LE East to West travel trailer. Uh, this is a single slide, single axle unit. Uh, this is a new line that Della Terra came out with um, that is the little brother to the standard Della Terra line. So this is a single axle unit. As I said, not quite as deluxe or as equipped as the Della Terra, but certainly not basic by any means. Um, 175 BHLE is the, the specific floor plan of this unit. And then the actual uh, exact numbers are going to be on a sticker here at the door. 23 feet from tip to tip and 4,400 pounds, 4,443 to be exact. Uh, dry weight pounds there as well. So it's very, um, compared to a lot of the other Della Terra stuff, uh, small unit, I'm going to zoom out. Small unit, but still in my opinion, well equipped. So corner bunks, rear bath, mid kitchen and seating. And at the front is our combination uh, bed slash couch Murphy bed. So I'm gonna show you this first. Um, I love a Murphy bed because it lets you have, you know, obviously more than one uh, type of, of, of arrangement here. I've got multiple flexible uh, situations. So a lot of customers will choose to leave this bed in the down position uh, once they get to the campground and until they need it down. Um, otherwise, you know, really there's not any reason otherwise to, to have it in the, in the up position unless you need it for rain or something like that okay so i'm going to show you how this works i'm actually going to set the camera up i've been doing this and it's worked well uh, so far so at the right side here you've got latches and then you need to move this cushion out first so i'm going to take this cushion and just set it here for a second put that rug back uh, these two latches just undo them let this fall down hinge mattress here and put this, the exact size of this mattress, usually people ask how big the bed is, uh, 60 by 74. So that's a short queen. Um, there you go, simple as that. So a lot of customers would choose to put this down once they got to the campsite and never put it back up until they needed uh, that seating area, whether it be due to rain or whatever, you just wanna sit on that couch. Otherwise you can take the, the booth that the camera's currently sitting on, take that table out, make it a lounge, or just sit there. Or if you're like a lot of customers, you're not gonna be in here at all. So some flexibility here, as you can see, it's very simple. Sometimes people will hear complaints about Murphy beds. Well, I don't wanna deal with taking my bed up and down. I'm telling you, as you can see, it is not that hard to do it. Um, you, you learn it initially and that's it. I mean, it's really not that bad. So I don't know, 10 seconds, uh, put this back and you're done. So I'm a big fan of these because without it, if you don't have a Murphy bed, you could have a lot longer unit to have a couch and a bed. So that saves you a lot of space. As far as this is concerned, there's a shelf above, window at the side. Um, as you can see, if it's in the couch position, you've got uh, tables on both sides of it. USB port outlet there, hanging storage in here. Um, so really neat little, little setup there. Big slide. So I wanna point out the depth of this slide. Uh, this is a three foot deep slide. This is a, a very large slide for a unit of this size. Uh, big window in it, USB ports on both sides of the window. We've got a booth table, like I said, that comes out if you want to take that out. And it's a U shape. So it's kind of like a lounge, too, if you want it. Across from that's the kitchen area uh, two burner stove, sink, hot and cold water, big window there, uh, microwave even in this unit as well. Um, storage below, you can see your, your uh, fuse panel there to the right with breakers. Little heater here built in also. The control panel is on the side of this cabinetry with a monitor panel, light controls, water pump, water heater, gas control, slide control, and awning control, all that right there. Uh, AC already on it, ducted air here in the middle. Not a ducted, my goodness, free blow air here in the middle. Uh, what I was actually gonna say is in a unit this size, um, I prefer a free blow just because it's blowing out. Um, you're not losing any any air loss as far as literally friction in the ducts. Uh, if you have a ducted air in a small unit, really it doesn't doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So um, free blow air in this, this small of a unit, in my opinion, is, is preferable and acceptable. Uh, vent here and a vent in the booth area. I like that just because, again, in a smaller unit, sometimes it can feel small, but not the case with this because of the amount of windows and these roof vents in it. I think it opens it up. Huge refrigerator. Um, they did a really good job managing to put a big fridge in here. 12-volt fridge. Of course, everything's gone to 12-volt. The majority of things have gone to 12-volt, which we love. At the back, um, corner bunk, you can see there's storage down there below that. Good place to put extra items, Rubbermaid, whatever, to store those things. Window, exit window at the lower bunk. And then at the bunk up top, you got the uh, roof vent for lighting there. There's a light at both beds, as well as USB ports at both beds. 
And then in the back, um, there actually is a door to close the the bedroom, the bathroom. My goodness, you don't always see that. Um, that is that is really nice for this size unit. And then a couple of things in here that I love. We have a full plastic surround. A lot of products that compete with this, you will see just wall paneling. That is, in my opinion, that's cheap and a, a poor way to do that. That is an actual waterproof plastic um, membrane, you know, a, a plastic tub surround. That is just a wood panel coated with a, literally like a paper uh, material. I've never understood that. They took the time and money to put a full plastic surround. There's shelving built into it, plastic shower pan as well. Um, there's even a roof vent again in there for more, more lighting. Um, and ventilation, of course, uh, if, if you need to get steam out and things of that nature. Toilet here, really nice countertop in my opinion, with a little nook there for bathroom items. And just, again, countertop space is, a, is something that it comes at a premium usually in these. Um, that is nice to have that. And then an actual medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. There is actually a little bit of storage there as well. Every little bit counts in a unit of this size. This is the uh, wall-mounted thermostat control for the air. So even though it's a free blow, it is on a wall thermostat, which I like instead of just the buttons. And then if you want to put a, a TV on the wall, you could do that here, having to move out, you know, a extendable uh, mount if you wanted. All right, and that is the interior. Okay, let's go outside, take a look there at some things. It's a bit windy, so I'm gonna try to stay away from where I think the wind's gonna be bad. At the front, in the pass-through compartment, they did a good job here. They actually finished this out. There's a motion sensor light in this unit. I had it off. But see how this is completely finished out? Uh, paneling all the way around. Looks very neat. They even took the time to put a little holder here for the uh, jack handle there. Aluminum steps here. Uh, four manual stab jacks. Electric awning with OED light strip built into it. Big grab handle. Black tank flush even on this unit. There's even outside TV hookup, outside outlet. Both of those things are really honestly unique in this price point and size unit. Outside shower here. There's our water heater at the back. City water connection, spare tire already mounted on it. We have tinted windows. It's even prepped for the Lipper on the go ladder. So again, even though it's a smaller, less deluxe unit than the standard Delaterra, this is by no means um, a cheap entry level unit. There are a lot of nice features on this particular unit. Your waste, waste tanks, you can see those come out right here. Termination point, stowaway, power cord right there. There's that depth of that slide we were talking about. Really nice, really large slide for this size unit. Uh, TV hookup, fresh tank fill. And then here's more storage here at the front. Battery rack area, there's a battery disconnect already on the unit. LP bottle, uh, tongue jack, all that stuff up here at the front. So nice, neat unit, especially those of you that want to do more minimalistic camping or just don't want to deal with something big. 2023 175BHLE Delaterra LE by East to West. Single slide, single axle corner bunk with Murphy bed and a big slide. Um, under 4,500 pounds, under 23 feet tip to tip, and a really good price point on this unit. Click the link in the description for more information on the unit or call or email us at Arrowhead Camper Sales. Our family will be happy to help you. Thank you very much.